Hello everybody, today in this channel we will be starting with physics strategy and I am Ayushi who will be teaching you this. I have scored 96.5% in my 12 boards. So let's begin. The first one is quantization of charge. So here the formula is Q is equal to NE. Now N should come in integers as the answer like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because uh, whenever a question is asked like this was asked in IFC 2006. The question was uh, find out the N. Right? And the answer was in decimal, like uh, 0 0.8 or 1.34. Whenever your answer is in decimals or in fraction, then it's not possible. So here it could not be possible. That was the question. Then we have uh, Coulomb's law. You very well know the formula. Questions are directly based on formulas, so you'll have to do it. You don't need any brainstorming while attempting questions of board examination. Then we have uh, derivations. These three are very important. Then state Gauss theorem and its applications too. Learn the statement of Gauss theorem. This is very easy. Then uh, you can see these two formulas. And derivation for this is also subtract us. So this is for the line charge, right? Electric potential at a point due to electric dipole. Again, a derivation on this. Then capacitance of parallel plate capacitor here. C is equal to A epsilon naught by D. Whenever we put a dielectric medium in between, that is K, the formula becomes C is equal to K A epsilon naught by D. Then um, series and parallel questions based on capacitors are also asked. Then questions on equal potential surface are also asked. Property and the definition. In this question, students omit a lot of mistakes, so you'll have to see. For example, they give you the square, Q3, Q4. The sides are equal in a square, that is A, 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 A. So when you calculate the W, the electrostatic potential energy, the total of it, you will write this. But you have to add W4 and W5 also. Okay. Some students say any mistake, they only add the 4. Now, I would also like to introduce you to the physics ebook for IC12. It has all the handwritten notes and it is provided by Molly. You can buy it from the link in the description box. You will get uh, those notes according to the latest syllabus along with uh, numericals. I think that is the best handwritten notes you will ever get, and Molly has made it itself. So, uh, you can go ahead and buy it. Now, energy is equal to half Cv square is equal to half Qv equals to half Q square by C. You know how to derive it, right? And uh, direct questions may be asked. Then we have Ohm's law and its graph. Then expression for Ohm's law, resistance, resistivity and current density. This one is a lengthy derivation. And sometimes you may forget it. But the only way to learn the derivation is by rewriting it. You can maintain a derivations notebook. Even in my 12th standard, I did the same. I used to write all the derivations. And uh, one trick I would tell you, if you uh, copy the notes of school as well as the tuition, you can go ahead with the uh, notes that are easy. For example, uh, there is this derivation uh, on torque, right? So the derivation that is provided in the tuition is easy. Then you can copy that. Sometimes it happens that school teachers uh, make you write easier derivation. Then you can go ahead with that, okay? So you have to be smart while uh, preparing also. Then uh, again this formula, then I is equal to any A, V, D. Here the question was asked, what is the symbolism of N? Many of the students wrote number of electrons. That was wrong. You have to write number of electrons by volume. So your conceptual clarity should be really good. Then uh, parallel and series resistance, right? You have done this in 10th class and I think it is the easiest topic. Then uh, formula R theta is equal to R naught, then 1 plus alpha theta. There is 10 questions at a certain uh, angle is also asked at temperature, sorry. Right? Then we have DC circuits. Here uh, you can see Wheatstone bridge. Kirchhoff's law, potential meter and applications, meter bridge. I think you have to do all of them. Nothing can be neglected. And uh, the proof questions part for uh, Wheatstone Bridge, then for Kirchhoff's law, you have to do the definition. Like they will be asking state Kirchhoff's law and the derivation. And the questions are also asked. 
Numericals are asked every year. Then potentiometer and applications as I told you. Biot Sever's law and its numericals. Important. Right? So I made you write all the important topics, but you have to again study each and everything. Try to prioritize these things also. So you are left with uh, less time. Then magnetic field due to straight long current carrying wire. Magnetic field at center of current carrying circular coil. And then again at point on axis of current carrying circular wire. These three derivations. Ampere circuital law. State ampere circuital law. Derive it. So it is like uh, and numericals based on it are also asked. Integration of V dot DL equals to mu naught I. Then define 1 ampere. I really want you guys to define it in the comment section. I want to know if you know the definition or not. And I know 80% of you will write the wrong definition. You are not a student, you are a 12th class grown up, so you have to write it accordingly. Then these formulas, please note them. I hope you are writing each and everything because it will benefit you before your board examination. If you just revise all these topics. Then, uh, force between two parallel current carrying wires. This is derivation. Hai. Then, current sensitivity is pi by i equal to nba by c. You might be thinking that I am not explaining all this because it will be a very lengthy video. And I just want to make sure that you topics cover the topics. There are plenty of videos due to time lag. I am not able to make any such videos explanatory, but I have made uh, maths videos uh, on my channel. Baki jo aapke sare notes hai, that they are provided in Molly's notes. So, if you want buy it, you can buy it. You can buy it videos. Se bhi dekh sakte. So, galvanometer to M meter. How can we convert it? Numericals based on this are asked most of the time. IG G is equal to I minus. You can see this current. This is the formula. You can put it then galvanometer to voltmeter, you have to use formula use karna, aap note kar sakte Then magnetic susceptibility, xm equals to i by h, then mu i equals to mu by mu naught. Yaha pher aapko bata hai, they will ask you the relation, then you will have to write 1 plus xm equals to mu i. Right? Difference between diamagnetic, paramagnetic and paramagnetic. Then we have electromagnetic induction. In this you will uh, have to complete all these topics, you can leave anything. Faraday's law, Lenz's law, Fleming's left hand rule, right hand rule, then Eddie's current. You should know about the thumb rule also. You have done this uh, tenth also. Plus you can watch um, videos of physics. Wala. That is really very good. Even I referred to that when I was in my twelfth. Then AC, that is alternating current passing through different components. When there is only resistor provided, only capacitor, only inductor, they may ask you CR circuit and Numericals are asked mostly on this ICR, but you have to prepare for all of them. If w by T is equal to P average equals to uh, ERMS, IRMS cos phi. This is again a formula. The AC generator, you know the working, right? The diagram. Transformer, uh, they may ask you difference also. Then electromagnetic waves, a very easy topic in a short topic. This is gamma, x-ray, ultraviolet, visible light, infrared, microwave and radio wave. They will ask you the property or they may give you that it causes heating effect or any other property. They may give you the wavelength or the frequency. You have to identify the electromagnetic phase. So frequency decreases here and wavelength increases. Then we go from left to right. Optics which is a very vast part and uh, it is mostly from your 10th grade like TIR or uh, Snell's law or any other like critical angle. So mirror formula or equation, numericals based on this formula is asked and you should know where to keep the minus sign and the positive sign in case of uh, con uh, concave or convex so you have to be clear about that. Then Snell's law, critical angle, you know IC, then TIR that is total internal reflection, mirage, uh, the diagram is there, then optical fiber, what is its use, then this derivation and uh, the formula based questions are also asked. Lens maker formula, an important topic. Lens equation, combination of lens when two lens are combined, uh, again a derivation is asked. And please refer to the PYQs, you will better know what kind of questions are asked. Then we have minimum deviation. What is the minimum deviation if the um, angle is this or the values are provided? 
rainbow how it is formed you have to show th those uh, diagrams like the primary and the secondary to uh, rainbow and then the droplets that make the rainbow one degree and two degree rainbow difference between them then telescope microscope any one will be definitely asked so you have to prepare the de derivation right then we come to young's double slit experiment then theory of fringes so the derivations semiconductors and type b type intrinsic type c see the chapters that are at the end are to be studied like normally you don't have to be very thorough but uh, since these are very short chapters you can do them i don't think i'll have to figure out what question is important then rectify photodiode solar cells you know the basic definitions and the diagrams you have to study yourself Thank you for watching this video. I'll be coming with more such uh, subject strategy videos for other subjects. You can also maintain a formula register where you will write all the formulas and derivations separately. Practice them daily. Same applies for your maths, chemistry. This will benefit you when you will give your board examination. And if you are a little bit demotivated after your pre-board marks, then you should not be because even I scored really less in my pre-boards. But uh, that doesn't decide your board marks because board is completely different. It depends on the paper of pre-board that how are you scoring. Different schools have different types of standards for pre-board papers. So don't get worried about that. You will surely do best if you have worked hard. Thank you for watching and bye.